Ohai. Namangan the city, the administrative center of the Namangan region of the Republic of Uzbekistan. The second most populated city in Uzbekistan after Tashkent. History It is considered that the name Namangan came from Persian Namakkan, a salt mine. The city of Namangan goes back to the 17th century when in the north of the Fergana Valley there was a settlement of local Salidabichik of Aulers. In the 17th century after a destructive earthquake Axakin's inhabitants moved here. Axakin, the ancient city which once was the center of the Fergana Valley. In the middle of the 18th century, the city became the administrative center of the province. Wiliad. Archaeological excavations showed availability of the settlement in the territory of the modern city. Near Stone Bridge through Namangense. In the first centuries of our era. According to the legend, in the territory of the settlement the lake where table salt was extracted was located. The first mentions of actually settlement of Namangan belong to the end of the 15th century, and since 1610 Namangan became the city. In 1622 Namangan inhabitants of Axakin destroyed by an earthquake moved. Yushro played Yangarik Channel Prorita in 1819 1821 in development of Namangan. The Russian traveler and the geographer A.F. Middendorf, who visited Namangan in 1878, wrote As one of the last creations, Yangarik in the Namangan County was performed. From each yard demanded on one worker. Armed with the Ketmeni, it had to work at the Harka within 15 days on the structure of a Vodnatilny channel. After three years achieved a small channel of water and then in the next 10 years, the channel was expanded and profound. Amangan was known as the craft center in which potters, weavers, medical nicknames, smiths, dyers, jewelers, printers of fabrics and shoemakers lived. Gardening and silkworm breeding were developed, trade with China, Bukhara and the next nomad tribes prospered. Being in structure of the Kokand Khanate, Namangan endured the infinite civil strifes, ruinous wars and attacks undermining city economy. In 1843 the son of the Kokand governor Sherlakana Hudoyakhan was back in Namangan. In 1845, Musulmankal took away 16-year-old Hudoya to Kokand and proclaimed it the Khan. Infinite intrigues, revolutions and disorders following them led to the fact that Namangan in 1873-1876 joined a revolt against Hudoya Khan. The Tsar Alexander II, supporting Hudoya Khan, sent troops for suppression of a revolt. On September 26, 1875, the General Skobolov Doctor of Medicine, having transported through the Serdaria, occupied the city. However, in a month, in October, rebels captured the Mangan, and the Russian garrison, which strengthened in a citadel, hardly beat off the attacks of insurgents. Then Skobolev tightened additional forces and subjected Namangan to artillery bombing, having beaten out rebels from the city and having finally attached it to the Russian Empire. After inclusion of the territory of the Kokand Khanate in structure of the empire, the city became the center of the Namangan county of the Fergana region. With accession to Russia, industrial, trading, and banking capital began to get into Central Asia in high gear. 
on statistical data, in 1892 in Inamangan County 28 various enterprises at which 704 workers worked worked. In high gear the Hlop Copper Arabatavishai industry developed. 20 cotton processing plants which developed 81.5% of all gross industrial output differed in the large scales of production. Due to the development of the Hlop Copper Arabatavishai industry demand for cotton raw enormously increased. In 1892 gross collecting of cotton in the county made 22600 tons from 21500 hectares, the productivity was 10.5 centners. In the Mangan 10 cotton processing plants, four steam and the others water, two salotapenny plants, eight soap producing, ten tanning, one vodka worked, 15 mukamolan, 65 creameries, three crowds, nine potters, two brick and four iron workshops. Development of the industry affected also growth of the population of the Mangan. If according to a census of 1897-62017 people, then in 1910 already 75580 people lived in it. The Mangan took the first place in the Fergana Valley on the number of schools and Maktab. In the city one parish school, one Russian native elementary school, with an evening school for adults and 68 Muslim Maktab successfully worked. The hospital affected 20 beds. In 1912 the city was connected by the railroad to Kokand. The Mangan turned into one of industrial centers and the second most populated city. After Tashkent. In the Turkestan Governorate General. At this time the set of buildings and constructions, among them Hadzami Kabra's mausoleum and madrasa of the Kurjais Mullah was built. On October 22, 1908 together with other coats of arms of the Fergana region the municipal coat of arms of Namangan was approved. Its description was such. In a dark red board three silver silkworms who curled up in a ring. In a free part, the coat of arms of the Fergana region. At the Soviet power. Since the end of 1917 in the city, periodically there were armed conflicts between Bolsheviks and counter revolutionary forces. In April 1920, Namangan visited in several days the commander of the Turkestan Front and the member of the Commission of Vievek for Turkestan of Fronts of M5. Together with its state in the Mangan there arrived the chairman of the commission of Vievek for Turkestan Shens, Z. Aliyava and the chairman of the Marjolan Union of Koshchi, Yoldasha Kanbabay. Approximately to the middle of 1923 of the Red Army it was succeeded to suppress the Baz Match movement in the county. As a result of national state delimitation of 1924 from the territory of the Namangan County 10 Volists, Chakal, Halabakinsky, Emsky and others, which were a part of the Kurdjai's Autonomous Republic were separated. In 1926 the city endured a strong earthquake. The collectivization which began in 1927 was followed by Massachusetts discontent of the population and the armed performances continuing until the end of the second five years period. 1937 In 1930 in the Mangan there were 17 schools of the first step and two schools of the raised type. The seven-year-old and eight of Yataleka. 307 schools on liquidation of illiteracy worked. Two kindergartens, two orphanages and six to functioned. 
in the city the pedagogical technical school, medical workers faculty, seven clubs, 31 red corners, two libraries, three movie theaters and one museum zoo worked. On June 15, 1932, at the initiative of the famous Uzbek poet and Hamza Hakim Bak Niazi's educator in the Mangan, the regional musical and drama theater of Alisher Navoi functioning and until now was open. On March 10, 1941, the decree of Presidium of the Supreme Council of the Asur formed the Namangan region as a part of the Uzbek Sur, and the city of Namangan became its administrative center. In 1941 1943, an evacuation in Namangan, there were a design institute of the Zhiproiv All Union Value and All Union Research Institute of Artificial Fiber. Vneeb. Also from September 1942 to spring of 1945 in Namangan and also for Ghana, Indijan and Ukhor Ghana, the arm of our military aviation school of pilots. AMISP. Which further merged with the Krasnodar Highest Military Aviation College of Pilots temporarily was based. In the years of war the Namangan chemical plant released slings for parachutes. About 24000 and the Manganets died on fronts of the Great Patriotic War. From December 3 to December 5, 1990 in the city there were disorders on the national soil. On December 2 local hooligans put up a quarrel in a fight with military in the bus. During disorders five servicemen of the Soviet army whom hooligans burned in the same bus where a fight was put up died. Also died three civilians. Events received lighting in all Union media. The Komsomolskaya Pravda newspaper wrote about these events in article Black Apples of Namangan. In 1990 in the Mangan, the Usser's first official training center of East Medicine on training of specialists of contactless massage by Donna de Vitavali's method with issue of the official document opened at Onil DDE of Academy of Sciences of the Usser. Industry Research Laboratory, Remote Diagnostics, of Institute of the General Physics of Academy of Sciences of the Usser. His organizer was Takar Kasimovich Madaminov. After finding of independence by Uzbekistan, Namangan remained the regional center of the Namangan region. In the first half of the 1990th years in the city, the non-governmental pseudo-Islamic organizations, Tovba and Isil Lashkarlari, functioned. These organizations set as the purpose creation of so-called caliphate in the Fergana Valley. It led to an intense social situation in the city. However, to the middle of the 1998 years, the authorities managed to restore order in the city. Prominent activists of the pseudo-Islamic movement were forced to disappear from the Republic, and influence of bands began to decline. In 2003 Davlet Abadsky district of the city of Namangan was abolished and directly subordinated to a Hokimiyat. Administrations of the city The territory of the city till 2016 made 101.5 came. Then parts of the territory of the Namangan, Aikinsky and Yanjikogansky districts were attached to the city. As a result the square of the city grew to 145 came. Geography Namangan is located in a northern part of the Fergana Valley, in 200 came to the southeast from Tashkent. On the road, about 300 came. Height minus 476 meters above sea level. 
the population as of January 1, 2021 was 640,100 inhabitants. Representatives of 20 nationalities, the vast majority of the Uzbeks live in the city. As of 2011, their share made 95.9% of the population of the city. The share of the Russian-speaking population of Namangan sharply decreased after the collapse of the Usur, most of which went to other countries. First of all, to Russia. The increased increase in population in 2016 is explained by accession to the city of Namangan of a part of suburban territories from structure of the Namangan, Aikinsky and Yanjikarganski districts. According to a general population census of the Russian Empire which is carried out on January 28, on February 1897, my direct poll of all population for the same date according to the provision on the first general population census of the Russian Empire, which is most highly approved in 1895, Namangan was the large city in Central Asia. Status of the Million Strong City In June 2020, the President of Uzbekistan, Shams Mirziyoyev said, In the city of Namangan, 630,000 people are officially registered now, and in practice about 800,000 people live. Namangan becomes the big city, it is not so simple to them to operate. It is necessary to aspire to the million plus city. The world practice shows that the investor attracts more investments if the population of the city makes not less than 1 million people. In September 2021, in connection with the presentation to the President of Uzbekistan of the project of the town, New Namangan, in information material of the press service of the President, it was told that achievement of 1 million inhabitants by Namangan is expected in 2026. The airport of Namangan is located in 12 km from the downtown. The railway station Namangan works. Trolleybuses went in Namangan from 1973 to January 3, 2010. The irregularity of work of public transport. Buses and trolleybuses. Was led to the fact that the main share of passenger transportations is performed by private share taxis. They consist generally of Thomas minibuses of the South Korean company, Daewoo, of the Uzbek Assembly. Also now across all territory of the city and area buses of the Isuzu brand of the Uzbek Assembly began to ply. Soccer, one of the most popular sports in the Mangan. In the Championship of Uzbekistan, the city represents Navbakor Club. It was founded in 1974 and at first textile worker was called. Since 1978, the club acted in the second league of the Usar. However, failures compelled the leaders of the time of area in 1980 to rename team in Navbakor. In the championship of the Uzbek Sir, it took the first place and acquired the participation right in the second league of the championship of the Usar. In the seventh zone of the second league in a season minus 1981, Navbakor took the honorable third place. Due to the change of a financing source in 1984, the club was renamed in Motorist. However, in 1988, the name Navbakor was returned to it. In a season minus 1990, acting in the zone east of the second league, Namanganet scored 58 points and took the second place, having passed for Ghan and Eftionic forward. It allowed club to rise in the first league.
In 1991 Navbacor took the ninth place, having scored 45 points at a positive difference of the scored and passed goals. 60-53 after declaration of independence of Uzbekistan, the club firmly located in the highest league of the Republic. In 1996, Navbakor became the champion of Uzbekistan nine times. 1993, 1995, 1997, 1999, 2003, 2004 and 2018 was a winner of bronze medals, and in 1992, 1995 and 1998, the owner of the Cup of Uzbekistan. In a draw minus 1998, the Manganets, having won against Fergan in FGA Cup final, for the third time won a trophy and forever left it in club. In 1999, Navbakor became the first owner of the Super Cup of Uzbekistan. Many players of club supported the national team of Uzbekistan. In 2006, Navbakor was renamed in Navbakoran. In a season minus 2016, the club again strongly gave in and finished the championship only on the 15th place that became for it the worst result in the contemporary history. Navbakor has the stadium under the name Markazi. In translation, Central. Located in the third residential district of the city of Namangan. Religion. Namangan, the city with strong Muslim traditions. Even in days of the Soviet power, the Namangan specialists in Islamic studies held the leading posts in religious institutions of Bukhara and Tashkent, worked as imams in the largest mosques of Central Asia. For the period 1990, 92 years were erected by the population of the city dozens of mosques. In 1997 their number in the city reached 270, and on all Namangan region, more than 690. At the Soviet power. As of January 1, 1987. In the Namangan region at the population 1.4 million people were only three operating mosques, and before October Socialist Revolution of their 1917 there were more than 400 at the population 180,000 people. In the late 80s at intervention of the third forces in the city the ideas of politicization of religion and its use alien to Namanganets for achievement of political ambitions began to extend. Weakening of the Soviet power and paralysis of communistic ideology were the cause. Gradually the city became one of the centers of artificially politized religion in Central Asia again. Prominent leaders of radical pseudo-religious opposition of Central Asia Takar Yaldash and Duyuma Namangani, natives of Namangan. Since 1990 the adherents of so-called new sense of Islam which had some differences from traditional interpretation at commission of a Mohammedan prayer and departure of other religious practices began to be going to the mosques Mulukirbis. Otolikan. It was impossible to call them neither Wahhabits, nor Shiites, nor Sunnites. The mosque was open for any believer. At first adherents of both currents coexisted peacefully, but in the majority of mosques the giant Mohammedan prayer with adherents of new sense was prohibited. Around the mosque Molo Kyrgyz, Otolikan. The radical youth pseudo-Islamic organizations began to arise. This so-called organization, Isilave Lashkar Lara, Soldiers of Islam, became one of the largest pseudo-religious groups functioning in the Mangan in the late 80s, the beginning of the 1990th years. They made the strong point the most Mulo Kyrgyz, Otolikan. 
a furious supporter of a radical course of Wahhabism A.B. al -Akkad. the follower of Rahmatullah Kalam was the Imam of the Mosque. Using the general situation of chaos accompanying the collapse of the Asr, Wahhabits fixed the channel of receiving financial aid from various organizations and funds from Azarbath. Began to publish and extend radical literature to the received means to conduct ideological work. The city was visited more than once by foreign pseudo Muslim preachers, meetings with whom took place at big gathering of people. However, over time, Wahhabits began to call for overthrow of the existing system, establishment of so called caliphate, and allegedly introduction of laws of Sharia. There were numerous appeals to physical destruction, incorrect law enforcement officers, communists and their families. There were numerous facts of intimidation of the women wearing the European clothes. In 1990, Wahhabits having surrounded the building of the Namangan Regional Prosecutor's Office demanded to give them all criminal cases brought against their supporters. Their requirement was met and the received criminal cases were burned before the prosecutor's office building. Growth of number of adherents of Wahhabism and their activity began to disturb adherents of traditional Islam. In 1991 it led to several oppositions. Several times, thousands of citizens gathered at gate of the mosque Mullah Kyrgyz. Otolikan, with the requirement to its closing. According to some information, the new count in the mosque, Otolikan, and other mosques was organized through KGB of the Asa for the purpose of separation of believers into two conflicting camps. The so-called group of Elashkarlara was divided Isil into two wings. A. At the latter, Party Congress minus nine. Members of the group having appropriated functions of law enforcement agencies self willedly were engaged in maintenance of public order. At the same time, legal regulations proclaimed allegedly laws of Sharia. Members of the group repeatedly made acts of mob killings and murder of police officers. This wing of a Lashkar Lara was crushed by ISIL in March April 1992. B. The Wahhabits. The main attention was paid to discussion of religious questions. The head, Tokar Yaldash. Organization members were subdivided into groups till 20, 50 of people. The number of groups reached 60. The group supported communications with Hizbavat Tarar. Also in 1992-1995, the Tovba group. Tolba. Under the leadership of Duyum and Amangani acted in the city and the area. The number of members reached 300 people. The organization, adhering to religious views, condemned the facts of death of the conscript military personnel and non-statutory relationship in army. Activity of Wahhabits reached the greatest scope in 1992-93. Using weakness of the new authorities, they widely showed the force, being engaged in mob killings, proving the actions allegedly by laws of Sharia. But in 1993, the authorities began the first stage of fight against bands. Whereas a result crushed a number of the criminal organizations, and their leader Tokar Yaldash, together with colleagues, fled to Afghanistan. After acts of terrorism in Tashkent on February 16, 1999, representatives of bands suffered repressions and persecution. The Mosque Molo Kyrgyz.
Otolican, turned into management to the state. Today the situation is under complete control of the authorities. Christianity Archangel Michael Church The Mangan Operating The Mangan City Church of Evangelistic Baptist Christians Sites Hudsmikabra's mausoleum built in the 18th century under the leadership of the famous master Muhammad Ibrahim, the son of Abdurakim. The mausoleum was built in those days when the Mangan turned into one of the large cities of the Fergana Valley. A fancy terracotta, imprinted multicolor irrigation facing, decorates the building of the mausoleum. Nadrasa of the Kurjais Mullah, 1910. Mosque of Alicona, Mosque of Alicante, and Mullah Bozar Okun's Mosque. Sultan Akhmadov's House, 19th century. The Namangan Park, founded in 1884, was a garden of the district chief in the beginning. It became available to residents only after the October Revolution of 1917. Since 1938, the park bore a name of A.S. Pushkin and after acquisition by the Republic of Independence in 1991 received a name of Baber. It is located in the downtown, to it conduct 12 city streets, and its territory makes about 14 hectares. The Namangan National History Museum and also Namangan the Ark. Fortress and a citadel are in the territory of the present Babura Park. During the revolt, the citadel served as the place of the shelter of Red Army men in the Mangan of anti Soviet element. After the Ark it was raised, the remained fragments are extremely insignificant. Also, far write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.